Yo, what's up, YouTube? Biohazard here with Dragon and Honeybee. We're going to be talking about the craziest, most insane five moves in Mortal Kombat. Let's get it. So right off the bat, we have to say Shiva Stomp. <clears throat> yeah, busted. Busted. Even, even though it was slightly nerfed in the last patch, it's probably still busted. Super, yeah, super I don't even honestly. I don't even know if that was a nerf in the last patch. Was it? Was it a real uh, nerf? I, I think it would like uh, when when I went into the lab, I found it a little bit easier to deal with now than it was previously. But a bit, I, I yeah, haven't. I haven't. Uh, I haven't come across like just a Shiva stomp spammer in like Combat League or whatever as of late. So I haven't actually been able to test like how frustrating it can be in a real match. But yeah, yeah it's I don't know why I interested in this. Mer Merp. <laughs> um yeah so i mean cetrion uh yeah. cetrion tornado for sure tornado is probably tornado, the best move in the game it's yeah there's no rhyme or reason to this move yeah uh you don't really need a brain as long as you know how to do the teleport <laughs> yep you can agree with that there's no counterplay to it to unless teleport you or tornado. No, 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 not tell the tornado. Unless, unless the only counterplay is like unless the Cetrion were to do a strain with a false blockable something. If there's no false blockable anything, then it's just like just hold this. Pretty much, yeah. Is there ever a reason to amp it on block? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes if you like want to just like if you just want plus range, basically. Um, she's plus. Use, huh? Yeah, what? She's plus. She's plus. Uh, yeah, yeah she's plus one. Oh. On oh. ex. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh also um usually you only EX it if it's like to win the round. Because you just do EX tornado, then EX wall, and then you win the round for chip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's uh yeah. And then Cetrion teleport is teleport also game. probably so Cetrion has most likely two moves in yeah. the top five of all of the game. For sure. She has yeah, so her teleport and her tornado. Yeah. Give a stomp. That's already three. So we have room for like two more. Yeah. Out of the 37 characters that are in this game. Technically? So you, sorry. Sorry, uh, Dragon. You you were talking about um Fujin that you think is, is oh, back to. Back yeah. Back to is like one of the strongest moves. Yeah, I think back to is probably one of the best moves in the game. That move is ridiculous, man. It's literally... Yeah. <laughs> it's basically a projectile that goes into a full combo. Like, you use it as a projectile. At least that's mm -hmm. how I use it. And then the pro if, if they ever want to do anything or move in neutral, they just die. Yeah. <laughs> and And it goes like what three quarters of the screen yeah it's a little like bit that. less than three quarters but yeah it's quite two, a bit two thirds two thirds of the screen yeah, yeah i like I that yeah that's a good fraction right um, up, to, up to two thirds <clears throat> up to two thirds yes um yeah i think that move is insane um going back to the cetrion teleport thing though i think uh raiden's is actually like better but i feel like like frames wise raiden's is better but i think cetrion is like better because like she has so many other things so it just know. it complements what it she comp does. Yeah. yeah yeah and the thing is cetrion can use it in the air and if we think yeah. about it um fully as well the fact that it's a one slot move compared to raiden's teleport is a two slot move that's true like Makes i sense. It, you know there's there's also that to think about um, yeah yeah true. So. true 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 i agree all right so, so yeah. well, we got four moves mm -hmm. we got four moves and then um but you didn't like the Sindel screen. You like? Uh... I don't like it. Um, because I just think there's better moves, but maybe, maybe there aren't. Uh, like at know. the very least, I feel like the Sindel screen needs to be an honorable mention because I feel like I feel like it's the best crushing blow in the game. That's 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 my opinion because I feel. I saw Koizy made a tweet one time, and he said, "If you get hit by Sindel's scream, it's your fault." <laughs> and yeah. I read it, and I was just like. I do not agree. Like that, <laughs> that's agree. literally one of the only like things that, like crushing blows in the game that I honestly feel like more than half the time when I get hit, I don't feel like it's my fault. I feel like it's just some <laughs> bullshit. Like I was just <laughs> trying to jump. I was just trying to poke. I was just trying to play the game. And then I just got scream crushing blows. Like I just mm -hmm. think that move is absolutely stupid. So if it's not top five, it's it's up there. Yeah, I, I agree. It's definitely up there. It's like it's punishable by a couple of moves. Um, you can't you can't really hard punish that move for the most part that I know. You can uh, soft punish it. 
you can soft punish it. <laughs> yeah. It's always going to be like risk reward. It's going to be highly in uh, Sindel's favor for the most part on that. Mm -hmm. It's just in my opinion, I don't think you're like, like, yes, it is a one time thing. And I think the move is bullshit, but I feel like it's not something like compared to some other moves, maybe um, it doesn't like control the whole match. Yeah, like it's, it's speaking not, of speaking of control the whole match, stuff. what do you think of Sindel's four four up three? Is that is that the string? Like I because th I think that's probably the best string potentially in the game. Like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it might be. You know, yeah. like the fact that it's just so. And if for anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, it's the cartwheel thing that goes forward and then she goes up and then I think on hit it's like what fourteen percent something like that, and then on block it's safe because it has so much pushback on it that she, and she just reset back to neutral where she can kind of just do it again and um so that's like another thing i feel like is up there up there like i don't know yeah. if it's top five but it's up there it's up there, it's up there. <laughs> what do you guys think about uh something controlling the everything and controlling the pace of the game what do you guys think about gare sand trap hmm um, because like, you go ahead. You okay. You want to say first. Like, I I do think that's that's also really like really stupid. Uh, really good. Kind of reminds me, you know, of the same type of things in Injustice with like Black Adams, Black Magic type of shit. You know, that type of dumb stuff. Like gears. It used to be worse, but then they did nerf it a little bit, where like they made it have more recovery on whiff. So like I don't know if right now in the state of the game if it feels as bad or as polarizing for neutral and stuff as it used to because right now me like I'm a Devora player so like I can jump from like half screen and potentially hit him so I don't have to worry about it I feel mm -hmm. as much as maybe some Hold other on. characters do um, and then you know you can punish it on with right but it is it it's it's definitely like super super strong. I don't know, maybe Joker's Fatal Blow, because he does have a lot of options. It does do crazy amounts of damage. It does. It does. He has he gets his throw crushing blow because of the fatal blow cancel. Thoughts, Dragon? Yeah. Um I yeah. I mean it's it's I think it's good too. Uh I think Johnny's fatal blow is also really good as well. Like just like the the cancel portion and when he has sunglasses, you right. just like if you get hit once, you you're just dead actually just dead um i feel like they might be tied in my opinion if we're talking about like fatal blow moves the best um but every fatal blow move in the game is so dumb but um yeah i think i don't know would you think that's a top five move though the fatal blow or like yeah hmm. I mean, because we're just kind of comparing it at this point to like the Sindel scream or the the Gary mm -hmm. Sand Trap. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's any other like quote unquote like busted ass moves that we're not talking about. Yeah. Hmm. I'm like looking at a character list right now. I'm not like I still think Shiva's Dragon Stance is also up there, up there super dumb but it, it really got hurt did it really get hurt like yeah they added two frames to the startup so it like sucks, you can't do it on like, block strings as, as much a, yeah whatever. you can't really do it as a block string anymore really. so then does that did, did that kill the move it didn't kill it but it definitely hurt it yeah because like the thing is like i don't know she hits you with that shit she's getting like what 19 percent, no bar she can cancel it no bar she can <laughs> One, two, three, cancel, one, two, cancel, one, cancel, do it, cancel. Know, <laughs> all these options, like, all that these, cost no pressures. resources. But, yeah. And then, or she can just, you know, amplify and have this big ass ball of fire coming your way. I don't know. Like, it's, it's really stupid. I think, but yeah, the fact that she can't do it off block strings anymore does make it not seem stupid. Like, yeah, before, no, it, it, when if, she could if do we were that, talking it, about the top five busted moves, uh, and this was pre patch, that would yeah. definitely be up there. But no, yeah. yeah. So now Something maybe it's not. not. Good. Um, how about this? Probably isn't like top five, but it is dumb. Codals for it too. Codals I was thinking about two. it. I was thinking about it, and yeah, it's it is super good because of the range that he has, and like it is you know decently fast. I think it's like nineteen frames, and it goes like half yeah, it's screen. nineteen frames. The only um, thing is like, as far as a move, um, like there's definitely definite like 
counterplay at least with the flawless block mechanic yeah that can really like like you can up. consistently flawless block up to his four two like yeah. it is definitely possible and, and unless you have like grand discus you're always going to put yourself in like kind of not a favorable situation by doing that move unless you hit the opponent well the thing is though with kotal khan like he can do that he can do like four two four that shit's safe on block you know like he doesn't have to use the grand discus he just does it so that he can be pushed back and be back where he wants to be you know i always use that move i think it's like resets neutral off of anything it's kind yeah, of the grand discus because mm -hmm, there's yeah. no there's no gap there anymore off yeah. of four two yeah so like the fact that he can have that with it yeah like that's super stupid and um he doesn't but he doesn't even need to spend the bar like to be mm -hmm. safe off of it he could just do it um and maybe the only not real top five, though. play though what maybe not top five yeah mm -hmm. maybe i don't know it, it, it's up there though it's definitely like super super strong um yeah the fifth one is hard so what do we what do we have right now we have shiva stom fujin back to Setrion tornado Setrion teleport yeah yeah okay. i think um, those four we can pretty much agree on um yeah. outside of that i mean there was also the jackie leap that we were thinking about right like hmm. which i mean technically like if you just talk about that one move if jackie is not does not have that move she does not play the same game that she plays with that move and is that's the reason why she's such a big threat is because of that move i think mm -hmm. <sighs> i'm not sure what what makes you not sure K oh no <laughs> huh you know Kano ball, yeah, man. That move is just get it out of here. It's too good. And why couldn't it be more punishable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you got? Uh, Liu Kang fly kick. That move punishes like everything, dude. Everything in there. That move I, is insane. Actually, does, I, does sub slide not punish everything as well? Oh. Uh, Slub slide, a slub, sub slide is, I think, faster than Liu Kang's. It just, I don't, I don't think it like, uh, it goes as far, but I could be wrong. Um, but I, I feel like uh, Liu Kang's is just better because anytime you try to like, you, any, anytime you try to zone him, you just, um, you just get fly kicked. Like he just punishes almost every character in the game, um, and I feel like. Like, yes, Sub-Zero has it too, but it's not... Like, with everything that Liu Kang has, I feel like Fly Kick complements um, it, like everything he has so well. But I don't know. I, I, I think that move is kind of broken, actually. I think Fly Kick I is see so what you mean. I could, yeah. I could see Fly Kick. I yeah. could see Fly Kick. And, and like, like, I have seen very those toned down. Uh, it's, a, it's a very toned down as far as the top five broken moves. Yeah, I feel like the first kick. four were just more so. But, like, I have seen, like, those Aziz tech videos where, you're like, he's showing all these different things that Fly Kick can kind of, like, punish or go over and whatever. And, like, yeah, I can see in a lot of ways, like, it is used. It is, like, super stupid. And yeah. if used optimally, like, it, it can be broken in a sense. All right, so we have five. Lucas, oh, it, I didn't know I, we we agreed I, on that. I don't. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, like, I'm look looking at the list of characters right now, and I'm just same. thinking, like, do any of these other characters have any moves that could be top five best moves in the entire game? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, like if we look at Devora, for example, her jump one busted kind of like there's there's counterplay around it but it's one of those things if you gave jump, Devora jump one to like any other character in the game it could like skyrocket them i feel in in certain aspects and true if you look at like tier tier wise or whatever like if anyone else had Devora's jump one um no but yeah i don't want to upplay her too hard like buff Devora, please one two telly needs to combo um mm -hmm. but yeah What's that? What's that little uh, grimace? Oh no, no, no! Because no. I agree with you. It's just funny. Okay. Yeah, but I agree. I think that's just should be a thing, anyways. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it might be like between Jackie Leap, um, maybe Liu Kang fly kick, and then Gareth Sandtrap. I think I think just the Gareth Sandtrap. I don't know. It's not like it's 
it's like broken like when you get hit by it like it's it's not super broken i think the broken thing about it is just like what it controls and the respect that you have to give it like you can kind of do whatever you want just because he has that move like you don't even have to use it it's just so it's just dumb for him to have it you control like almost every character in the game like you ha- you play his game usually um but i, mean, I, I yeah yeah i mean it, once you if you pair it with like the clone and stuff definitely really strong combo there yes i agree i agree combo but that's yeah. two that's two moves on its own possibly possibly a top five move um yeah 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 i feel like <laughs> i would i would lead more towards jackie's leap i think jackie's leap I overall think people, people want i'm to down for that dumb jackie's leap is yeah like i i feel like if we're gonna say top five broken moves in the game and we don't mention something that jackie has we might get a little bit of backlash out. oh yeah <laughs> like People no, might say, like, you guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what I mean? Is that how they like, sound? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You never know. Um, I, I can I can agree. I can jump on board with that. Yeah. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe that's it then. So we got Cetrion's teleport. Cetrion's tornado. Well, are, let's let's order it. Are we all gonna oh. order it right now? Oh, okay, sure. First. Okay. So what is number one? Cetrion's tornado. Yeah, I think it's a tor- tornado is probably the best one. You think so? Best move in so. the entire game. I think tornado. so. There's there's absolutely no counterplay to it. Unlike some of the other stuff, at least you maybe have an option of boss blocking something or doing something to stop it. But like if yeah. Cetrion decides it's time to, for the tornado, like it really, really just pushes you back and puts her back where she wants to be all the time. Like yeah, yeah it, it is really silly. I agree. Especially I think it's especially the best. You're watching matches and it's just like one one tornado, one one tornado, like. What is this bullshit? It's pretty you know? fun. It's, um, uh, <laughs> I agree. Uh, okay. And then what about the second one? Shiva's Shiva Stomp. I, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Shiva I think Shiva's, Shiva Stomp, it needs to be up there, up there. Like, I've literally lost matches in Combat League just against Shiva's that only stomp. Like, yep, yeah, same. It, it's, 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 it's so stupid. I don't know why Inaris did this. But some some characters no. some characters just don't even have like really good options at all against the stomp like collector for example like he can't even dash under it so, uh, half the time anytime he tries to dash he gets stomped by it so you literally got to try to down two and that's pretty much your only option <laughs> collector getting stomped on over and over again he does he has no <laughs> options it <laughs> feels bad <clears throat> um yeah number exactly. three uh what were the, the options three, again? It was the options food, are Fujin's Wind Fujin back two, back two, and uh, Cetrion's teleport. Cetrion's yeah. teleport and, and Jackie's, leap. Jackie's leap. Yeah, maybe Jackie's leap is number three. I, I, dude, it keeps raising like it, it goes higher in my head every time I think about Jackie leap. I mean, yeah. with Jackie's leap, she does get like crazy amounts of pressures. You know, unbreakable damage yeah. combos. Um, she is the projectile. Yeah, she yeah. is the projectile. Like part of the thing is just like. With Jackie's Leap, part of what makes it so stupid is all the options she has off of it, which it goes into, like, her shrapnel and shit. And, like, technically, that's more moves. But if you look at the Leap on its own, like, yeah. Like, she she can she gets so much pressure off of it. She gets easy-ass hit confirmed. She gets easy-ass unbreakable damage as well. She can just fly in, punish projectiles from full screen. Honestly, yeah, it's really, it's really dumb. Like, yeah. That's she, she does. She doesn't have to play like neutral like other characters have. To, and like, is, isn't that like a? Is that is that not like a one slot move as well? Just yeah. to put that. Just having there. the leap, I think. Like I think it's a one slot. Yeah. Move. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm. That's probably it, number. Three, it's kind of weird because we took so long to like agree on the fact that yeah. it's top five, but now we're like talking about it. It's like yeah, you know, it's top I mean, three. I <laughs> thought it was. I mentioned it, so I thought yeah. it was top five. I guess. Well, we had to. We had to discuss other things. Yeah. Like, but uh, yeah, I, think I think number, number three, three. Jackie's, yeah. Jackie's Leap. That thing's mad stupid. And mm-hmm. then it leaves us with Cetrion's Teleport and uh, Fujin's Back 2. And um, what's number four? Um, so the thing is, I think Cetrion, obviously, your teleport is super annoying to deal with. But I think it also is uh, it's more annoying to deal with because of the tools that she has. So as a standalone mm-hmm. move, it's probably not as annoying to deal with as say Fujin's back to True. standalone move. I agree. Yeah. 
So Fujin back to you for number four. Yeah. I think Fujin's back too. I mean, it's I feel definitely... like I feel like Dragon should um go more into detail. Oh yeah, of why yeah, yeah Dragon you go back to is is so good. Oh, um, I think because like, I the it's just the amount of controls like during during a match. Um, back to you is pretty much um like I like I said, it's pretty much a projectile. Uh, or the way I use it, or the way I think people should use it, is like a projectile, and that projectile goes into three hundred damage. Um, every time so if they ever do a, um, a projectile um, try to do projectile and you do back to like you're um, you and they or the, if they ever try to move like you're just going to win out because you get 300 damage for it do you always um, just do back to into skywalker most of the time yeah and then if, if they block it <clears throat> they can't punish you right like there's no they can like hard read and and like do jump one but then you can do back to um instant ex skywalk and then it'll it'll hit them. So it's like I feel like the risk reward is always in your favor. Um, and then like in neutral, you don't even have to use back two either. You can kind of just <laughs> like you can see them sitting there like waiting for back two. They're just blocking, and then you just dash up and do whatever you want because they're waiting for the move. It just it, it it's like you have to respect it so much, and uh, it's like unreactable too. So you can't like move and then block. You have to read that he's gonna when he's gonna do it, and then you know block. Um, you can't move and block; it's just not gonna work. You actually have to guess, which makes it even more dumb. Yeah. So I mean, and also uh, as far as like you know trying to false block and stuff, you know it's invisible for the most part, so you, it's, you're not gonna get false blocks, and any false blocks aren't gonna lead to anything because he's too far away, anyways. Uh, you can still cancel when he false block when they false block it too. There, there you go. That too. Yeah. So doesn't even matter. <laughs> so Fujin's back too. Yeah. Number four, which leaves us with uh, Cetrion's teleport. Number five. Number five. Number five. You can do it in the air. You can do it. You know, whenever you want. Kinda. She has the option of going far away from you if she wants for two bars, but you don't even need to do it because it recovers so fast either way. It's only a one slot move. So, it calls no bar to teleport to them either. Yeah, it doesn't cost any resources. Like she can just kind of do what she wants with that, you know. Zoner so. with the teleport just sounds busted. Just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like even like day one, you know, like Cetron is just like, yeah, she's a zoner. Oh wait, she has a teleport, and she can just run away from you and teleport out of the corner like that. Day one, it was just so stupid, and it's still pretty dumb. Like that's uh. Yeah. Yep. What it is. It's what Sounds it is. like a good list to me. So there you go. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This was us listing the top five best moves in Mortal Kombat 11. What we found out is that Cetrion is broken and probably needs nerfs. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Maybe learned a thing or two and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out guys.